What can be seen on trail cameras can terrify us, like seeing the footage of a gigantic creature in the forest, four scary figures stalking, terrifying screams from the forest, or a duel between predators. Stay tuned and we'll look at each. I found this image on the internet and at first I had no idea what I was looking at. Is it a cub with its much larger parent? But it does not look like that. The black bear looks fully mature and yet the creature next to it is so much larger. It looks like a bison in terms of its hair and its standing. But what is strange is that a bison and a bear should not differ that much in size. That thing looks two times the size of the bear. And why is the bear not scared of it? What do you think we are looking at? We can see a hunter standing ready with his rifle, looking over the grassy field, waiting for his prey. But what he is about to hear will terrify him. From the forest we can start to hear a terrifying scream. Imagine hearing that at night, it will for sure haunt you for the rest of your days. But apparently that is how a mountain lion screams, but to me it for sure would sound like a demonic creature if I ever heard it in person. We can see someone recording the outside of resort. A dog appears in the image, but they seem to be interested in something lurking in the forest. They think they spotted something between the trees and proceed to get closer and closer. Further in the distance, they finally spot what they were looking for. A hairy figure slowly making its way through the forest, but they quickly lose it. After a while of searching, we can see that they found the figure at a different spot in the forest. The author of the video said he was sure it was not only one figure, but multiple, as they appeared at different spots too quickly. The figure seems to be lurking the forest as if looking for something, but what are we looking at exactly? Is this the famous Bigfoot? And if the video is real, does this mean there are multiple Bigfoots out there? Following the previous video where the owner said he was sure there are multiple Bigfoots, I have found this picture which seems to be from a motion detection trail camera. It seems to have been activated by the movement of these strange four figures. I suppose they were moving rather quickly since the picture is all blurry, but even from this we can make up some strange characteristics of these figures. They do seem rather large, no clothes, but very hairy. This would be the exact description of the Bigfoot, but what is strange is that there are four of them. And I personally always have thought of Bigfoot as a single entity, but it seems this is not the case. So is Bigfoot a species rather than an individual? What do you think? We can see the clip from the camera set up by a biker who wanted to film himself going down a slope in the forest. We can see him having a great time, doing some tricks in the air with his bike and passing past the camera. But he quickly forgets all about that as he encountered a terrifying sight that made him quickly back away. We can see him looking past his shoulder to see if whatever he encountered is approaching. He raises his bike to appear bigger and to intimidate the creature approaching him. And after a while we can see the silhouette of a bear slowly appearing into the view and continuing to approach his position. Thankfully, he managed to scare away the bear with the use of his bike. And if you ever find yourself in a similar situation, having to deal with a bear, then remember this saying. If it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. If it's white, good night. As the black bear is perhaps the easiest to deal with, rather than having to deal with a brown or polar bear. This lady is babysitting at a new place and she found something truly disturbing in the house. Guys, I'm babysitting and I just found the creepiest thing. <laughs> Look at this. All throughout the house, there appeared to be creepy dolls turned with their face towards the wall. 
as if they are playing hide and seek. What makes it even creepier is the fact that the dolls are dressed similarly as you would dress a child. And upon touching the dolls, it also seems that the hair is real. But the girl doll is not the only one. In the kitchen, there is also another doll, but that of a boy. Similarly, just as well dressed as the girl. For anyone wondering what the heck are these, from what I found on the internet, these are called timeout dolls and are usually used as decor. But personally, I'm not sure who would want to use these as decor for their house. After so spending plenty of time with the dolls, she wanted to make fun of the position the dolls are in. But just as she places herself in a similar position, we can see something in the mirror. The figure of a girl can be seen passing, going into another room. And you might say it is normal since she is babysitting. But the kid she is staying with is actually a boy, not a girl. And in the mirror we can clearly see long hair. But that was not all. Later in the night, things started becoming creepier and creepier. She started thinking that the dolls moved, or that the TV turned on by itself. And seeing how things are becoming creepier, she goes to check on Max, the boy she is babysitting. At this point she is terrified and she calls out to Max, the lights no longer working. And we can hear a bell. The same bell that was attached to one of the dolls. At this point the recording stops and I did some digging around because I really wanted to find out what happened. But what I found is that apparently this recording is actually all fake. Sophie Clayton made this as a short horror movie and there is actually a jump scare at the end. We can see a mountain lion slowly making it down the slope. But in the distance between the trees, we can also spot something else. Something big and hairy making its way down to the similar spot where the mountain lion is currently at. The mountain lion seems to have noticed whatever is approaching and is trying to keep its distance. After a few moments, we can see what was lurking. A big brown bear emerging from the trees. The two creatures both notice each other and are trying to evaluate the situation. The mountain lion at some point seems to try to relax as it is laying down to take a rest. But the bear interrupts that as he is approaching and quickly starts chasing the mountain lion away. And I'm not surprised by that outcome. Look at this video and how powerless the mountain lion seems compared to the bear. In this trail camera, we can see a mountain lion interacting with a mirror and how he reacts seeing his reflection. The owner of the video claims that the mountain lion spent around 30 minutes in front of it. At the beginning, we can see how surprised it was and the threatening signs it showed, possibly thinking it was another mountain lion rather than its own reflection. But afterwards, we can see it sit down and actually seeming to enjoy itself in front of the mirror. To me, such videos are just amazing because they are proof of self-recognition even in the animal kingdom. The ability to recognize oneself in the mirror suggests that a sense of self, an understanding that the reflection they see is their own body and not that of another animal or object. In this one, we can see an unexpected intruder breaking into someone's home. But I don't think anyone would have expected the intruder to be a black bear. The bear starts wandering around the room, looking around to see if anyone's home. But one thing in particular catches its attention. The piano. We can see the bear raising its paws and placing them on the piano key, as if preparing to give us an extraordinary show. Whatever the bear is doing there, I am sure no one would be thrilled to see a bear in their house, be it just wandering or playing the piano. This trail camera shows us perhaps a coyote just coming from a failed hunt, as we can see it limping around with its hurt front left paw. Coyotes are usually hunting in packs, so it's strange to see traveling all alone in this forest. Perhaps its pack is the one that cast him away and left him that ugly injury. 
we can see on this trail camera a strange figure making its way through the forest. And many claim this is one of the best videos of the Bigfoot. And I have to agree with the fact that it does look to resemble all its characteristics. But it does look a bit too human in the manner it is moving, don't you think? I would expect Bigfoot to move more like an ape-like creature. But Bigfoot is not the only creature lurking out there. And if you want to see some more terrifying things found on trail cameras, then watch this video where a strange wolf-like figure is spotted on a trail camera in a forest.